In this video, I'll show you how to back up your iPhone to a Windows computer. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. In order to back up your iPhone to Windows, we're going to go and need an application called iTunes, which is actually by Apple themselves, and it's what we use to go and back up our iPhone. So firstly, we need to go and download iTunes. So to do that, all you need to do is go and open up the Microsoft Store. So go and tap on search, or do it on like so, and type in Microsoft Store, just like this. Here we are. Now, if you haven't gone and logged into the Microsoft Store before, then you will need to. Uh, what you need is a Microsoft account, so you may already have one. To go and log in, all you need to do is go to the top right and go and tap on this profile icon, tap on it, and there'll be a sign-in button. So you can either go and create an account or go and sign in if you already have one. Then once you're signed in, all you need to do is go and click on search apps, games, movies, and you can go and type in iTunes. Basically, you have to have an account in order to go and download apps from the Microsoft Store. It's just how it works. So come onto iTunes like so, and there's going to be a download button. Mine says open because I've already got it. So go and tap on download, and then it's gonna go and download and install, it's really easy. Then what we can do is go and tap on open, just like so. And here we are, iTunes has now opened up, so I'm gonna go and close off the Microsoft Store. And as you can see, we've got this sort of pop up here. I'm just going to go and tap no thanks. So once it's open, now what we need to do is go and connect our iPhone to our computer. So all you need to do is use that normal cable, your sort of charging cable. One end's gonna probably be like a lightning adapter, and the other end's going to be a USB. So basically just plug your iPhone into your computer. When you go and plug it in, you're going to go and get a pop-up on your iPhone saying, do you want to go and trust this? And you'll need to go and tap on trust on your iPhone when you do it. As you can see, I've got an update available. I'm just going to go and tap on cancel for now as I do it later. Then all you need to do is go to the top left of iTunes um, and below sort of the main navigation options, you've got like an iPhone icon, tap here. And then here is my iPhone. As you can see, you can see quite a lot of information about it. I'm going to have to blur it out. But once you go and see all this information here, what you need to do is make sure summary is selected. And then what you can do is go down to backups. And as you can see, we've got two options here. At the minute, I've got iCloud selected, but what I need to do is press on this computer like this. And then what you can do is go and press on apply and done. And then in the future, when you plug your iPhone in, it's going to go and back up. But also if you come onto the right hand side, you can just tap on backup now. And as you can see, it says manually back up your iPhone to this computer or restore a backup stored on this computer. So once you've got and made a backup, you can then go and restore back to it. For example, in the future, if you go and lose your iPhone, then you can go and plug a new iPhone in, press restore backup and get all the information which you previously backed up onto your new phone. So it's that easy guys. If you found this useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.